welcome. Thanks for joining us. Baseball coming up on this Memorial Day. It's the Pittsburgh Pirates taking on the Los Angeles Dodgers. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. And on the hill today, Shohei Otani. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league pitching debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Leading Exciting moment. Court, he's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge Andrew. tone setter for his career. Okay, all set to go. At the plate for Pittsburgh, Andrew McCutcheon. Ball one, no strikes. Hey. Swing and a miss. Oh, well, that's that slurp right, right there. Right. He threw it extremely well. And talk about just a ton of breaks. So ah. tough to get that ball to. One ball, two strikes. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many. If he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him, he doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers can sometimes get too caught up to try to rack up K's early in their career? Hoog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff, or strikeout hey. stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Pretty rare location right there, right down the middle. This guy paints the edges. I'm not sure if you're going to see that pitch again as a hitter. Inside, That's one. inside. One and two to count. One out, base is empty. That one sizzling on its way through to the outfield. Couldn't have timed it up any better than that. Got the top of the ball a little bit, but not much. That was hit pretty hard through the infield, so I think he'll be happy with that swing. Definitely generated some good bat speed. Connor Joe stands in now and watches strike one. Joe measures six feet even, 205 pounds, a former first-round pick back in 2018. Reynolds leads off first with one away. Swing and a high fly ball left field. They got it for out number two. Here's the Pirates lineup now. They're dealing with a top level arm on the mound, so this figures to be a tough matchup for them. What's the key to the offense today, Singy? Oh, Boog, I think when you got a guy that's this talented on the mound, you've got to find ways to disrupt his rhythm, make him uncomfortable a little bit. The guys that can handle the bat and perhaps, you know, bunt, bunt for a base hit, get him moving off the mound. If you're in the box and he seems to be just in a flow, step out, mess up his timing, somehow try to get... Well, we'll hold that thought as that's the third out and we'll end the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh, and now the Dodgers get a crack at it. No score. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at Chavez Ravine and towing the slab in this one, Paul Skeens. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys, they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. That one hit to right, and he pulls up on it, and that's a hit. Went up there looking to be aggressive and got something he could handle. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a long dart in there, and he found a way. And now Teoscar Hernandez had a foul ball. 
One of my favorite stats all time, 1997, the Hall of Famer Craig Biggio played in all 162 games for the Astros on Astro turf, and he never hit into a double play. Nobody out, runner at first. And he swings and lifts one to deep center field. Back there. Out of here. That's worth the price of admission. And just like that, they're out front. It's 2-0. He absolutely feasts on right-handed pitching and devours that one for a homer. And you can see that's what he expects of himself. At bat after at bat, he's that confident. Took on the big part of the yard for that home run and just barely got it over the wall. I thought for a second he brought it back out there too. Came in a great effort, but you know those plays are so tough to pull off. And I'm sure he'd love to have another shot at it. Freddie Freeman up to the dish. That's a hit. Just kind of sliced that one into center. The batter now will be Will Smith. It's been a tough stretch for him at the plate under the Mendoza line so far this month. Double play ball to second. There's one, and that's two. I think four, six, three double plays like that are way tougher than these guys make it look sometimes because no matter how you do it, the feed from the second baseman is a tough one. That's where footwork really comes into play, but right there, very well done. Chris Taylor now. Swing and a miss. It's 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Swings and misses at the pitch off the plate. No ball, two strikes. Short hop liner handled it short. Over to Joe. Taylor out of the play. That's the inning. Two run shot for the Dodgers this inning. And it's two zip. Second inning set to go. Yasmani Grandal up to hit. Yasmani. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. The pitch. And he hits a ground ball right side, and that's a fair ball. That exists. The right field. Up next for the Pirates, Edward Olivares. All right, singing, you know I'm a dork. Shohei Otani, go back to May 5th, 2022 at Fenway Park. He tossed a complete game through 99 pitches. Get this, 81 strikes. It was the most strikes thrown with less than 100 pitches in a game since they started tracking pitch counts. That's just unreal. The 0 one. Fought off foul. The Dodgers up by two here at the top of the second. Got him. One away. Here's the third baseman. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. In the air right field. And it jumps the wall in foul territory for an automatic double. Well, this tends to happen more often in this park than others, and that short fence is just so inviting for hitters. You see a lot of balls bounce over for an automatic double when no one can run it down. This is Joey Bart. Golden opportunity right here. 
Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Throw on to Freeman, and now two gone. Well, there's a lot riding on that at bat right there. Nice job of the pitcher to bear down, make the pitch, get the ground ball. Excellent piece of work. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Michael A. Taylor. Right through there for a strike. Well, we call that key holding. Even though it's right there and looks pretty good, if he doesn't love it, he's not going to swing that early in the count. Fouled off. He was late. Two outs, two in scoring position. Yeah. And that is that. A couple of hits in the inning, but they can't get him home. Now to the bottom of the second. It's the Dodgers two and the Pirates nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, and now it's Gavin Lux. The second base. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. That one is absolutely belted. And out of here. He'll touch them all. His second of the year, and they add a run. It's 3-0. I hope you saw it because it didn't stay in the air for long. No, it did, Boone. StatCast telling us 110 miles per hour off the bat, and that's plenty to hit one out if you get enough air under it. As a hitter, you hardly feel the ball when you make contact as solid as he did right there. One run across in the frame so far. Bottom half of inning number two. But we just got to delete it. You give up that leadoff home run. Go back to work. Focus on this next batter. Down the line. And that lands in no man's land. A foul ball. Man, he'd like to have that pitch back. Swing and a ball lifted to center field. And it falls. Well, we don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Here's Kike Hernandez. Ground ball up the middle. That's a base hit. Throw back in quickly. First and second now with nobody out. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. Really nice job staying up the middle with his approach. He didn't try to do too much with the pitch. Just shot it through the infield. Next is the Dodger DH, Austin Barnes. He's a catcher by trade, but the DH here in this one. A swing and a miss, and that's strike one. The 0 1. Swing and a high fly ball down the right field line. Lays out for it, but it's a foul ball. Big stack center field. Around third. The throw in. He's safe. Four hits in a row, and they're really swinging it here. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. Back to the top of the lineup. Now it's Mookie Betts. Scored the first run of the game back in the first after a single to reach base. Ground ball left side could be two. 
Quick feed to second for one, and a run scores on the double play. Here's Teoscar Hernandez. He's already homered in this game. Up the middle, and that chance handled. And he's safe at first. Well, from the time you're a little leaguer, you're taught to hustle out of the box and give it a full sprint through the base, regardless of how you hit it. And he didn't make great contact, but the effort was there, and he earns the base hit. Two outs, runner at first. Here comes Freddie Freeman up to hit. One for one with a single so far. Lays out, but he can't squeeze it. And that'll put runners at the corners with two away. Waste no time there. Just a solid swing right there. Caught it out front and ripped it into the outfield for the base hit. Those always feel great. So they bring on the veteran, Martin Perez. I think it's got to be a little tough coming in out of the pen when your guys are trailing so big on the scoreboard. Just doesn't have the same intensity to it, but... He's got to find a way because these batters count the same for his stats, obviously, regardless of the score. And up to the plate is Will Smith. Hernandez at third. Freeman at first. Two out of the inning. I say it went. Oh, two is the count. Lefty out of the stretch, runners at first and third. Base hit and a run into score. Well done, drives in the run. Nice line drive to the full side, met it out front, but just stayed through it nice enough and ripped it into the outfield. Here comes Chris Taylor. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first hit back. And it's fouled away. Oh, one down. Liner, base hit. Here comes Freddie around third. And he's in safely at third as a run scores. He was all over that one. You'll often hear the phrase short to it, long through it. And that's a great example of it right there. Got the barrel in the hitting zone early, squared it up with the well-timed swing, and came away with a beautiful line drive in the center field. And here is Gavin Lux to the right side. McCutcheon. They take the oh, force yeah. out, bang, bang, play, and the inning is over. All in all, 10 come to the plate. They bat around at five score. We head on now to the top of the third. It's the Dodgers seven and the Pirates nothing. Back here in L.A., onto the third inning. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. McCutcheon. And a pitch. Well, every pitcher wants run support, and having a lead is nice, but it can be challenging for some pitchers. I think keeping the mindset to attack instead of trying to be too fine and have too much finesse, go after hitters and get quick outs. And here it comes. Love how vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. And they'll do it again. Here's the 2-2. Two -two. Struck him out looking. Well, definitely a borderline pitch right there. And he didn't look too convinced as he headed back to the dugout. You know, those are tough ones to let go as a hitter. But with the human umpire calling balls and strikes, it's always going to be on you to protect yourself with two strikes. Brian Reynolds here. Hit in the air, left field. Hernandez makes the grab for the second out. 
the first baseman number two Connor and now the first baseman Joe. Connor Joe One finds the zone and it's 0 and 1. Now this guy is just filling up the strike zone right now. Don't want to get yourself in an 0-2 hole. You better be ready to pull the trigger on the first pitch. Oh, and they're oh. going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. The pitch timer expired before he started his windup, so that's a ball. That must be incredibly frustrating for the pitcher, but this is all about creating more action and speeding up the game, and it's working. Bounce to the right side. Lux throws the first in time, and that is that. And one, two, three, go the Pirates. Not going their way. It's seven, nothing. Bottom of the inning. Here's Jason Hayward. The right field. Hayward. The pitch. Ripped into right center. And that should be extra bases. Makes the turn and heads for second. In safely. It's a double. And his second hit. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle seriously we're starting with this already so man aboard Kike Hernandez steps to the plate for the Dodgers fly ball to right Olivares pulls that one down. Rounder tags at second. And the throws offline. Safe at third. Austin Barnes steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. Gets under and pops it up. And that's foul. The pitch. A bunt and it's popped up. Joe snags it on the run. Throw behind the runner. They've got him doubled off. As we go to the top of the fourth. And now the shortstop, O'Neill Cruz. O'Neill. This kid picked Cruz. up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. That one finds the zone. 0 1. 0 1, 1. Cruz in his second season. Oh, this one high and deep. Way back there. Pulls it in on the warning track. And now up to the plate, Yasmani Grandal. That yeah. pitch clips the outside corner. Going along. Here's a fun fact. Dodger Stadium was also the home of the Los Angeles Angels for four years in the 1960s while they waited for Anaheim Stadium to be built. When the Angels were playing games at home, instead of Dodger Stadium, they called it Chavez Ravine Stadium. Kicks and fires. Fights that one away, and the count remains 0-2. The punch out there, out number two. No, that's not the best two-strike fastball I've seen, but certainly got away with the location there. Now you know, sometimes right as a hitter, when you're down Edward. in the count, you're so focused Edward. on a pitcher painting the black, and you just get a little bit locked up on something down the heart of the plate, not expecting it, and it just kind of freezes you. Oh, and they're nope. going to tag the pitcher with a pitch clock violation. That's an automatic ball. The pitcher must begin his motion before the pitch timer runs out. We're looking for a little more urgency out there. 
Two down, nobody on. Top half of inning number four. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Nabs it, and that'll do it. Nothing doing for the offense that time. And midway in the fourth, it's the Dodgers seven and the Pirates nothing. And welcome back to the ballpark. John Chabi and Chris Singleton with you. And leading off the bottom of the fourth, Mookie Betts. Perez back to work. Drilled out towards left center field. That's well struck. And it's off the wall. Around first, heading for two. And he's got a leadoff double in the fourth. Well, that started and ended pretty quickly. No messing around right there. Absolutely blasted that one into the gap, but just didn't have quite enough to clear the wall out there. Maybe a little more elevation under it, and it carries over, but that's a swing you'll be happy with every time. So, man aboard. Here's the left fielder, Teoscar Hernandez. Oh, great stop. To his knee, the throw on the money. Nice play. Look at how he dives right there. He's able to pop up to both Ready. knees. Not enough time to get to his feet, but he threw a cannon across the diamond to get the runner. And now it's going to be Freddie Freeman. A base hit, run scores. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Pitch was on the outside, didn't go the other way with it, but still a nice job of using the big part of the field to find a hole. No way he hits it that well if he hooks around the baseball there. Get to the back, get to the back. And now Will Smith, one for two. Hit. They get it in quickly. So first and second now, one out. A couple of hits in a row yeah, for him here. Nice no, line drive to the pole side right, right there, but he didn't spin off of it. That's the key. You still have to extend through the baseball in order to hit a line drive like that. Here comes Chris Taylor. And first offering is fouled off. Two on, one out. Back up the middle in a base hit. Around third. Now a relay to the plate. It's off the mark and he scores. It's 9 nothing. Stringing them together, that's three hits in a row. Absolutely hammered that baseball. Very loud coming off the bat. 107 was the exit velocity. And at that speed, it's going to be a great result more often than not. Next to hit, Gavin Lux. Oh, Ball one low. Well, he's just given up three straight hits, and now behind in this count to this hitter. Might be a good time for somebody to call a timeout. Maybe the pitching coach go out there and talk to him just a little bit. Hey. Next offering in there for a strike. And one and one. This one lifted in the air, left field. Dives, but it falls. Could be extra bases. One run is in. Headed for the plate. He'll score. Two runs are in, and they extend their lead. Picks himself up a couple of ribbies. That pretty much split the zone down the middle, and those are the ones where you got to make a pay. On a pitch out of the pen here. Well, they need someone to stop the bleed and keep the score right where it is. Seems like a tough task today with the way this lineup is swinging it. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. And immediately pumps in a strike to the left-handed hitter.
kicks and deals. Now a drag bunt, third base side. Gets it to first, beats him to the bag for an out on the bunt. Perhaps he rushed just a little bit, didn't set the angle as the infield was back right there, and that's pretty much a gimme for a bunt base hit. Just didn't quite put it where he wanted to right there. Here's Kike Hernandez. There's the strike. Squares and gets it down the left side. Sends it across the first, inning over. Although plenty of damage done. They get four runs on five hits, no errors, and leave one. We're headed to the fifth. It's the Dodgers 11 and the Pirates nothing. We go to the top of the fifth, down the third baseman, number 19. Jared Triolo. Otani back to work. Outside corner, there's a strike. You know, these Pirates just lacking discipline at the plate in this ballgame. They've been chasing pitches outside the zone all game, and it's led to some frustrating moments. They've been fooled quite a bit today. He kind of rolled over on this pitch a little bit, but he got enough behind it to shoot it through for a knock, and you'll take that any time you can get him to find a hole. Now fly ball to right center. Hayward under it. Pulls it down and he makes the catch. And there's one down. Up next for Pittsburgh, the center fielder, Michael A. Taylor. Michael A. Taylor, the next pirate to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. Ground ball right side could be two. There's one. Fires to first on the run. Over to first, safe. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. And first offering is fouled off. And the righty deals. Swing and a miss. And it's 0-2. I think he was sitting off speed there. Next offering misses. And the count one and two. Taylor leads off first with two down to the inning. That's towards center. Taylor in position. And that'll do it. So they've been held scoreless through five. It's the Dodgers 11 and the Pirates nothing. And we're back. We head to the bottom of the fifth. And at the plate for the Dodgers, Austin Barnes. And the right hander back to work. A bit behind with that swing. It's strike oh, one. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Carmen Majinski appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Puts a bunt down. Joe. A flip to the oh. pitcher covering. And a quick out number one. The batter. The shortstop, Mookie. Let me set. Back to the top of the Dodgers order. Now it's the Dodger leadoff hitter, Mookie Betts. Drove it off the wall last time, just missed out on a home run. And first offering is fouled off. You know, Boog, Mookie Betts may have not been named MVP in 2023, but that doesn't take away from his impressive season. The Dodgers star hit nearly 40 home runs and drove in more than 100. Ronald Acuna Jr. deserved to win, but it was another phenomenal season in Mookie's career. So digging in, Teoscar Hernandez. He's already homered here in this one. Right side, hard hit. And that's the third out. Nothing doing for the Dodgers here, but they still lead it 11 to nothing. Back here at Dodger Stadium, top of the sixth inning at the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. Reynolds Popped up to the left, into foul ground. Hernandez sizing it up, takes it in for the out. So up next, Connor Joe. Number two, Connor Joe. That one's in there. 
That's strike one. Well, oh on the mound, very efficient, able to produce Eight. an outcome, it seems like, within the third or fourth pitch of just about every at bat. And he grounds one to the right side. Lux to first, but it pulls him off the bag. Up next for Pittsburgh, the shortstop. Man at first, here's O'Neill Cruz. And that one fouled off. Well, here's a deal not everyone remembers. Cruz was actually signed by the Dodgers in 2015, but Los Angeles dealt him to Pittsburgh in 2017 for Tony Watson. That's a rare trade the Dodgers just might regret. Swing and a miss as he was out front. One ball, two strikes. Swings and misses struck him out. Not the best location with the fastball on strike three, but when you're pumping high 90s, you get away with some of those more margin for error. You know, the fastball has become such a huge strikeout pitch in the sport, and I think a lot of it has to do with all the attention and emphasis on improved spin rates. These fastballs are just exploding out of the pitcher's hands and jumping through the zone. And there's a ball. One strike. Next pitch in for a strike. Two and two now. And another ball. Great RBI spot here. Just got to stay focused on the pitch. The runner will be in motion, so something in the gap should definitely score it. Popped up. Freeman moving under this one. Makes the catch. And that is that. So another good inning for him on the mound. Six shutout innings now. It's the Dodgers 11 and the Pirates nothing. Ready to go for the last half of the inning. And here's the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. Freddie Freeman. Here comes a pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Swings through that one above the zone. Another 0-2 count right here. Pitcher just in the driver's seat. He can go anywhere he wants to go right here. On the ground. McCutcheon throws the first in time. Leadoff man retired in the sixth. The catcher. Now the catcher up to hit, Will Smith. a base hit. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. Kind of your classic jam shot blooper right there. Paid a good pitch on the inside. Got to hit it off the handle, but he still muscled it out there. You just have to tip your cap on the mound. At the play, Chris Taylor. Smith over at first with one away. And a bunt towards third. To second, there's one. Throw to first, safe. Well, an aggressive slide at second base, but it was legal. I like it because you're trying to break up the double play, and it looked like the slide impacted the throw a little bit. Nice job by the base runner. So digging in, Gavin Lux. Now move to first. And he's out! And they got him! That ends the inning! Back here at Chavez Ravine. Now it's the right, the right fielder, fielder, Edward Olivares. Olivares. Back to the mound. He's got it. Tosses to first. And they get the leadoff hitter in the seventh. Now batting. Third baseman. Jared Here's the third baseman. Triola. He's controlling hey. things out there on the mound, not messing around oh, at all. Right He's been in attack mode since the very start. Swings yeah. and misses. Oh, a two down. No ball. Base is empty, one away. Here in the top half of inning number seven. Zips it to first. Two up, two down. The catcher, number 14, Joey. Two outs, base is empty. Joey Bart, the next pirate to hit. And first offering is fouled off. 
two outs. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. At the belt and fires. In the air, left field. Hernandez ranging after it. And makes the grab. And that is that. Still in total command on the mound with seven shutout innings. It's the Dodgers 11 and the Pirates nothing. Back here in L.A., bottom of the seventh. And now here is Gavin Lux. And a pitch. Bednar in his fourth year. He features a four-seam fastball, a curb, and occasionally works in a splitter. Right-hander kicks deals. He swings and fouls one off. Right-handed reliever. And that one is lifted in the air. Taylor sizes this one up. Hauls it in for the out. And there's one away. Up next to the Dodgers. The right field. Jason Hayward steps to the plate for the Dodgers. Hayward. And he pops up the bunt. Makes the grab on the run. Two down. Now batting. Third baseman. He can. Hernandez. So two down now, and here is Enrique Hernandez. And first offering is fouled off. Two down, nobody on. Here at the bottom of the seventh. Popped up. Two down, nobody on. And a swing and a miss. And that's that. The top of the Leading eighth at the plate for Pittsburgh. Seven Michael A. Taylor. Michael Otani back to work. First pitch oh, swinging. Otani into his eighth inning of work singing. He's been good. Yeah, he's the type of guy that gets better as he gets deeper into the ball game. If you're going to get to him, you get to him early. One they didn't do that today. Yeah. We'll see what happens as this finishes. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. Second base, Andrew. And first offering is fouled off. A little out front there as he swings through it. He's got a rare skill set out there on the mound. Even when he's low on energy, his stuff still has bite to it. You just don't see it flattening out just because he's tired. He's still delivering good action. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there at the plate. Reynolds in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Two out, space is empty. Ground ball, left side, nope, and ball. it goes just foul. And that one clips the corner. He's gotten into a really good rhythm, set down seven in a row. He just wants to get the baseball and deliver it as quickly as possible. Keep the momentum going. Two outs. That one that missed. Shot. Really good take, especially with two strikes. Swung on, popped up, left side. Hernandez has it sized up. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that is that. Bucks go down quietly. They trail in this one 11 to nothing. On 
to the bottom of the eighth. And now here's the Dodgers designated hitter, Austin Barnes. The right hander back to work. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. One's the count. Drops a bunt down the first base side. And he beats it out. So the batting order turns over. Here's Mookie now. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. Roll to short, possible two ball. Cruz to That's second. Out. How about that oh. double play? Got what he was looking for on the mound right there, and his infielders took you. care of business. Pretty hey, textbook yeah. execution between short and second That's to turn that into two outs. Two outs, base is empty. Teoscar Hernandez digs in now. Swing and a miss. That's strike one. One, one. Smoke to right center, and this one's going to go out of here. A gigantic blast. His second home run of the game, and they tack one on the board. It's 12-0. Two pitches, two swings, that one for a home run. Looking to be aggressive all the way, and it paid off for him in a big way. That's an impressive swing of the bat to go over the wall to the opposite field gap. And, you know, there are a lot of guys that just don't have the pop to do that, and probably just as many who don't have the approach either. He let that ball travel, and he got great extension on the follow through to drive it out of here. So two down, and now the first baseman, Freddie Freeman. He's got the power, but great contact skills. One of the best contact hitters in the game. And a base hit right there. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Now it's the Dodger cleanup hitter, Will Smith. First-round pick out of Louisville in 2016. Swing and a miss, strike one. The Dodgers up big in this one. Here the bottom half of the eighth inning. Center field settles under this one. He's got it. That is the inning. One scores in the inning coming on this solo home run. Last chance coming up for the Pirates. We go to the ninth, and here's the first baseman, the first baseman Connor Joe. Connor. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. I mean, his pitch efficiency, ability to get ahead and count, Ball, at times exactly. pitch to contact, let the defense work behind him. That's why he's still in the game here in the ninth inning. So a foul ball makes it one and two. You just don't see it that much anymore. A guy being this efficient and getting this deep into the game. I wonder if he's going to be able to close it out. There's just something about that ninth inning. But being at under 100 pitches, he's still got plenty of fuel left in the tank. On the ground to the left, Hernandez. And a couple of quick outs. Now batting, the designated hitter, Yasmani. Grandal. So it's their last chance in this one. Yasmani Grandal, the next pirate to hit. One for three. Here's a strike. Two down, nobody on. That catches the corner. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. The Pirates down to their final strike. Ground ball, and this should do it. Low throw, and he can't dig it out. Well, fortunately, they've got a big lead on the scoreboard, so that error shouldn't hurt too much. But you have to be careful about losing concentration in a game like this. It can be an easy trap to fall into. Runner at first with two away. Now the batter now, Edward Olivares. 
two outs. They're down to their final two. strike. Oh and two. Three. Right through there. Got it. Ball game. Otani gets his first big league win, and what a performance he put together to do it. Singing a complete game. Feels like one of those outings you can only dream about. I doubt he went out there today thinking that he's going to go the distance, but he had it all working, and they let him finish the job. I love that. That was something special. Very cool to see. 12 nothing. your final here in this one. Dave Roberts and company celebrate in the dugout. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Shambi. We'll see you soon.